You like it? It's a big girl feeding yourself. It's good. What are you doing in the box, sir? What are you doing? Are you gonna get out? Out! Come on, come with daddy, come on. Be careful. How are you gonna put your foot on the box? You gotta get out that way, mama. You didn't get in that way. Where you going? Let's see how long this takes. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, okay. That's how you feel? No, no, no. It's all right. Get down. Come on. Come on. Okay, now you do that. Get down. Be careful. Uh-uh, get down. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you gonna put it back in the box? Yeah. Yeah, box. Yeah. Put it back in that box. Good job. Keep going. Good job. Yeah, you yeah, wanted the Good job, mama. No, you gotta... You gotta put one down and open the box. Okay, one. Okay then. Oh, okay then. Hey, 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 look. One more. That one. There we go. Now put it in the box. Good job, mama. Thank you, my girl. Yeah, good job. High five. Mmm, good job. <laughs> so cheese. So cheese. <laughs> the art, mama? See the art? Say art. Art. Pretty. Come on. Come on. Pretty. Good morning. This vlog has been a lot of Mark. <laughs> As y'all have noticed, I'm sure, this week I kind of took a little, not a little break, but just like this is like truly the beginning of me slowing down, okay? I have officially hit 29 weeks and I'm definitely feeling it. I'm feeling still pretty like mindfully aware and like energized, but physically I'm definitely feeling like that low energy kind of coming back. I still had a bit of energy through the second trimester, but now as I'm entering the third, I am definitely slowing things down. So Mark will be, you know, leading some of the vlogs a bit more. Also, let me know how y'all are enjoying the vlogs. If you want to see more, if you want them to be longer, any sort of feedback would be really awesome because we are truly enjoying this journey of vlogging again and doing it in a new way and sharing more of like what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. It takes courage to put yourself out there. I had a bit of fear about vlogging for a while and 
I'm really glad that we started doing it again. So let me know if y'all have any feedback or suggestions on, you know, what else y'all want to see. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. If you haven't gotten caught up on the vlogs, definitely do so. I've put them all in a playlist here on my channel so you can easily just like binge, okay? Um, so yeah, I really appreciate it. So y'all, here I am trying to be healthy. Chick-fil-A has this new lemon chicken Caesar salad. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love Caesar salad. Like I have to try this. <sighs> do you ever feel like sometimes healthy food just tastes a little too healthy? Like, <laughs> I was like, I wanna love this salad. But y'all, give me a crouton. Like I don't even have a crouton in here. They have these little Parmesan panko, okay? And the vinaigrette, which I'm thinking Caesar dressing cause Caesar salad. But instead they have a lemon Caesar vinaigrette, which I'm like, okay, this is healthier. Y'all, it tastes too healthy. Usually I will get like the Cobb salad with half ranch, half apple cider vinaigrette, which is like a good combination of like what I really want versus like the vinaigrette being a little bit more healthy. And I definitely still get the chicken nuggets. But this time I did grilled chicken with it. I'ma eat it, but I'm a little disappointed. I need to go like eat a cookie after this or something. Cause I just, I'm trying y'all, I'm trying. <laughs> On another note though, anybody else do this? Like you just feel like you need to let your belly out. We made it to the finals for Sephora Squad. Yay! Just because I was on Sephora Squad for 2020 does not mean that I'm gonna be on Sephora Squad for 2021, okay? It's not automatic. I have to apply as if I never was a part of Sephora Squad before, okay? Like my chances are just as good as anybody else's. So the fact that I made it to this like you know the second round was like amazing and so i appreciate y'all for all the support and the love because y'all been going hard in the testimonials and it just means everything they're so cute chilling outside it just got done raining and mark loves the rain and as for me i am also enjoying some coffee Oops. I'm also drinking this juice that I found. I was listening to this podcast, the Ben Greenfield podcast, and it is a very like out there, like not, I wouldn't say extremist, but like low key, I think like to most people it would feel extreme. But to me, I just like love learning things and like learning about things that are like very niche. And so he has a podcast that he does basically like all these interviews and topics surrounding like alternative medicine and how to allow your body to heal itself with like different like natural supplements and stuff like that. Anyway, so he had a podcast episode about juicing. I learned about this brand called Farmer's Juice and this is the, this is the brand so you can see it. This is one of them. This is the watermelon hydration juice. And as you can see, it's a big one. This is a 12 ounce bottle. And on average, this would probably retail for like, I don't know, eight, $9 because of the quality of it. But these are actually from sustainable farmers and they actually use the produce that they can't sell to like grocery stores and stuff because the grocery stores only take like the pretty fruit. And so they talk a little bit about that, but they also talk about just like, you know, supporting farmers and farmers that have had farms for decades and generations and, you know, working directly with the farmers to get this produce, right? So they're able, because it's the ugly fruit, they're able to get this produce at a lower price than what like juice bars get. So you're getting a very, very high quality juice, but at the same time, like supporting local farmers and stuff in California and at a reasonable cost too. So like, I'm not sure if you can buy the juices separately. I just got one of the full collections which is like a variety box because they have juices and like little shots too the mixes that they have are really like intentional and like straight to the point like no added preservatives no extra stuff that you don't need but because i am trying to watch like how many carbs and stuff that i have i only drink about four ounces at a time and obviously the 12 ounces of that particular juice is going to be higher in like sugars from the just naturally from the fruit and i think total in the bottle is like four 
40 grams of sugar maybe. I don't drink a full bottle at one time. But what else I do is I actually add magnesium to my juice. So I've been taking this product called Remag and I got introduced to it from a book that I'm reading. The book is called The Magnesium Miracle by Carolyn Dean. She's a doctor. The book blew my mind just learning so much about what magnesium is, why we need it in our bodies, how much we're not getting compared to even a hundred years ago. So like on average, like most of us are magnesium deficient and that can lead to like a whole host of issues, like all sorts of different diseases and cancers and stuff like that. They were able to find that like a lot of people are magnesium deficient, which is a common thing with a ton of different ailments and even like anxiety and depression and all that kind of stuff. Like you may just be magnesium deficient. And so the doctor that wrote this book also created a product called Remag is a ionic level magnesium to where it can be fully absorbed into your body before it hits your intestines. So when you are taking a dosage of it, because it's a liquid, you are getting all of that to your body in a safe, way where you really can't overdose. You can't overdose on magnesium, period, because you will literally have diarrhea and get it out. But what you can do with this product instead is actually get your dosage right. I actually add it to my water. So I have this like liter water bottle that I carry with me everywhere because I have to drink like 100 ounces of water every day, which I definitely don't, but I have to, you know, trot my best. So I add the Remag and sip on it all day. So that's one way you can take it, or you can take a dose in one sitting with four ounces of water. Now, I tried it with just water. The taste is like kind of like cringy. So I started mixing it with like sparkling water or even like juice, like natural juice, like something like this. And I can definitely tell a difference. Like I probably could drink, have more of it, but I'm just like, I'm happy with where I'm at now and I physically feel more at peace and it has been such a good like slow but gradually getting better experience for me a few days ago we were in the car and I had just taken like a dose of magnesium before we left the house and we were riding and I told Mark I was like oh my gosh I don't know what it is I just feel so calm this is weird because I feel like I'm always stressed out like I feel like I'm always on edge but today I I'm actually like, okay. And he was like, really? I was like, yeah, like I really feel like now that I've been taking the remag for a few days, I actually feel like the impact of it. You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not, you know, a practitioner of any sort. I'm just somebody that like super nerdy and like read this entire book in a matter of like two days and just was hooked and just like my mind blown. So if you're interested in stuff like that, definitely check out the Magnesium Miracle book. And also if you're just weird like me and like to like learn about stuff you don't know about, check out that podcast. Cause he <laughs> talks about a lot of stuff that I'm just like, what? Like, what do you, like, like, yeah, just a whole bunch of like health things that I have had no clue about because I didn't grow up, you know, in a family where like natural remedies and stuff was common. Like we were in the military and especially in a military environment and family, like you get your vaccines, you go to the doctor, you just take whatever they tell you to take and like you move on. Like you don't think about all that other stuff. Now as an adult, like I'm thinking about these things and I'm like learning so much and it's just been like such an incredible, like, you know, learning experience. So yeah. Yeah, if you guys are interested, definitely check out that book. But yeah, so now I'm gonna finish my coffee, take my prenatals. These are amazing and super easy to take, really small as you can see. And I took these with Sarai and I also have been taking these my whole pregnancy this time. They also have multivitamins for kids, for men, for older people, younger people. Like it's a really great company. And um, yeah, if you want to try these out, you can use my code jade at ritual.com and you will get 10% off your first three months. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, start my day, and I will chat with y'all later.